Even I'm going to speak about corporate governance in procurement or supply chain. So basically, we'll be discussing our topics related to ethics in procurement or corporate social responsibilities in procurement or P2P impact on the procurement process. So coming on to ethics. Now, ethics in procurement, ethics covers human slavery, bribery, working conditions, tra trafficking, conflict of interest or coercion. So the, in the procurement process, these all activities, these all, all uh, should not be involved in, right? Why? Because uh, ethics says that all the things which are impacting the process as negative should not be included. The process regarding ethics will protect the organization by educating the procurement team in what to be aware of, what poor practices to look out for, and what situations they could find themselves in. So definitely, if you see ethics in procurement, human slavery, bribery, working conditions should be good, trafficking, conflict of interest, and coercion, these things should not be there. Coming on to corporate social responsibility in procurement, when we assess the sustainability, a buyer can request to view the supplier's corporate social responsibility. If he thinks that he will be able to follow, he can get into a contract with them, definitely he will. Because corporate social, social responsibility is what? It's a policy which has been framed by way of a document and has been written by the organization, which is internally regulated and contains the information on how an organization will be responsible on the part of community, both locally and globally. The policy covers fundraising from charity, ethical behavior, sustainability, environmental policies, and all those. It's like that. What is your commitment towards the society? What are you covering in to um, give the society? Right? It's it's not only production of your goods or services which you, your company has, is doing a business in. It's towards community. What is your responsibility? Coming on to third aspect, the impact of procure to pay system on the sourcing process as P2P cycle includes all these stages from the initial identification of the requirement to the final receipt and payment to done to the suppliers, right? So an electronic process is enabled in P2P cycle, it makes the uh, cycle go much faster, provides much speed to the process of procure to pay. Then what are the impact of procure to pay system on the sourcing process? Definitely as it electronically, it will be done that procure to pay process that is P2P, it will reduce errors, it will reduce waste, it will be reducing the cost, it will make faster payments. There will be continuous improvement and much more enhanced relationship. The better the performance, the better will be the relation. Then coming on to what uh, will be there as a reduced waste, yes, due to the help of electronic P2P process within procurement waste related to anything which is there, which is no, it's not going to add value to your process, definitely that is a waste. So definitely those aspects can be reduced and when the reduction in the waste will happen, there will be an improvement in the efficiency and effectiveness as well as productivity. What are the three issues? given by Womack and Jones identified. Now, the three issues relating to reduction of the waste are purpose, process, and people. Now, purpose is understanding what customer wants, what is customer, and what how they perceive the value. Process is improving the process and removing the wastage and all, which is not adding value to the production, as well as people creating the environment that enables the people to achieve maximum potential. So P2P system has enhanced with all these three areas as considering process, purpose, and the people right? for reducing the cost and adding on the value. Because if the thing which is not adding value, that means that is a waste which has to be reduced. Coming on to lean thinking includes seven areas where there can be waste. Like for example, if defects are there in production, definitely it's a waste. If over production you are doing, then also it's a waste. If there is a waiting time, that is also a wastage of money and time. Unused talent is there. So many things the people you have appointed, you have um, uh, put in the job for, but they're extras. So not needed. If extra transportation cost, that is waste. If in inventories are also resulting to be access product and all, which is not demanded, definitely it's a waste of your or money and time. Then as well as a space in the warehouses and the storage, 
various other things are there which can which can come under the which have uh, wastage or which has to be reduced to add value then reduced cost and faster payment a p2p system allows payment for customers and suppliers to be made more quickly and increases the likelihood of them being on time so this creates an opportunity for buyers to negotiate the cost reductions right the suppliers can also think for if their reduced cost will be there they can think for a better offer rebates from the customers who can pay via electronically that if you are paying electronically much more offers you can get much more rebates you can come so definitely a p2p system while making a payment it becomes faster because electronically then and there you can do and get the very much benefits of getting more offers as rebates and all then it enhances the relationship also yes it enhances the relationship because if there is a transfer of electronic document then and there you can get it done otherwise you have to do it manually by people well sending them with a document or a paper or transfer that will take time and documents can lost time when enhanced relationship definitely face to face relationship is not there but they have they get build their goodwill that you are electronically transferring the uh, documents and the process is done very conveniently then what is a continuous improvement yes continuous improvement e procurement is con constantly developing and system has an upgraded and new technologies are introduced in business so definitely procure to pay also needs to have continuous improvements continuous improvements includes four elements which are there these elements are identity plan execute and review so identity identify is to first uh, find out an opportunity in the process of workflow planning for that identity after identification of the opportunity you need to plan for that opportunity right as a process and all then we need to execute that process to find out what can be the problems or what can be the challenges once you find it out you can find review it okay, what has to be made changes here it from 